and we're back with Pac-Man Collection again. So, for the people on YouTube, I've made an executive decision. You maybe saw it in the episode 9 description for this game. But I've lowered the requirement for Pac-Man to level 13. Because I've determined that after level 13, there are no more unique items. Um, uh, that are collectible. And since the gameplay is basically the same... Alright, later Justin, thank you for giving them that sub and picking more games. Uh, yeah, since the gameplay is exactly the same, I don't see any point in going all the way to level 20, torturing myself with that. So I'm stopping at level 13 once I beat it, which I have not done yet. Um, technically, I could stop after level 9, because that's the last cutscene, but I have already I can know I can beat level 9 on this, so it wouldn't be much of a challenge. So 13 it is, and I've made it to level 13 before, so... That's not what I want. No, 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 we're not playing that again. <laughs> I never remember which way it is. I wish it would start you on Pac-Man. Oh, I forgot to change my lives. Okay, now we go. Alrighty, let's see if we can just get a good run in. I think I need to go Deathless at least 1 through 6 to get to level 13 and have a chance at beating it. Oh. Orange trolled me. As usual, I got trolled. I think I could be level 13 in a not big amount of time, potentially. As long as I stay focused. I think level 13 makes the most sense in terms of... ...completion, personally. Because there is one more cutscene. I, I mean, at, at level 13, you've already seen all four, all three cutscenes that are in the game. Um, there is one more cutscene, but it plays at level 17. It's the same as a level uh, 9 cutscene. So... It's not a unique cutscene, and therefore... It's repeating content. So once we hit the total repeating content at level 13, where you finally hit the key... And you beat the key level, everything after that's a key, and you've seen all the cutscenes, and so then there's nothing left to do in the game. Which is the rule for arcade games, is play them until there's no, until the games are just repeating itself, basically. Which you could argue that the patterns don't stay the same until after level 22. Uh, but that's kind of a stupid way to look at it, I think. <clears throat> Because the gameplay, even though the patterns are different, the gameplay doesn't change. That's what's important to me. If the gameplay doesn't change, then... Um, I don't see a point in continuing after that. I gotta get some warm-up runs in. I don't think I'll be able to do it right away. Like, my muscle memory is still there, obviously. Because it haven't, hasn't been that long since I played it last. Okay, I didn't like how pink was moving there. What am I doing? I deserve to die there. <laughs> that was really dumb of me to do. Okay, you're just gonna turn around on me? Okay. Fine. <laughs> turn around on me. <clears throat> Sometimes I do that, and I don't know why. Oh 
my gosh. I didn't deserve that. Cornering. Mm. Ah. I'm gonna go here. I think that was the best play, the safest play. I can zoom starting on the apple pattern. Freaking pink did a weird thing. That was interesting. Kind of sucks that I died there. I'd rather would have not died there. Since we're only going to 13, there's not as much pressure on me, I feel like. I know I can make it that far for, for sure. I know I've done levels 1 through 11 without dying. I think I've even done level 12. No, I don't think I've done level 12 without dying. This is going to be weird. Awkward. I'm in a really awkward position right now. Just do that, I guess. That's important, okay. No, red got in my way. I can't take that. I can't die on level six. Level six is too easy. That's to say I shouldn't die on level 6 ever. I should never die on level 1 either, so... I think clearing level 13 is enough of a challenge, honestly. Considering that I've gotten there and then game over twice. Half expecting orange to turn up into my corridor right there. Oof, that was almost really bad. Oh my god, freaking pink decided to be a freaking jerk there. Forgot to update the game's completed. For Rugrats.
I'll probably do the same uh, clear requirement for NES Pac-Man level 13. I don't think it'll take me as long on that one. Because I already know the game. I know how the ghosts move, and it's also only Pac-Man. It's not um, all this other garbage as well. Not that Pack Attack is garbage. Pack Attack's probably the best game in the set. Pac-Man Arrangement sucks. Pac-Mania sucks. <laughs> but for the most part, everything else is fine. Pack Attack's pretty good. Puzzle. In my not-so-humble opinion. Okay, let's focus. Let's get this done. Before I have to go into Yu-Gi-Oh, which will probably take another 30 hours. Because it's a big, long RPG. It's like everything else. There's so many of those in this journey. Big, long RPGs that I have no idea what to do with. That's not the pattern I normally do. Not a run until I'm 3 level 6 deathless, I think. That's when you know it's a good run, is when I'm deathless through 6. If I die before that, it's kind of embarrassing, honestly. Or if I die on 6, it's kind of embarrassing. Because dying on 6 is really hard to do. At my skill level. Because of the length of the power pellet on six. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Uh, that was a bit risky. I did not like that move. Okay, Pink decided to be merciful there. red. That is red, and I just got wrecked. Because they can disobey the laws when they're blue. da ba dee ba da die ha da ba dee da ba die Don't want to get copy striked, shouldn't sing that. There's already enough GBA games with copy strike music. I'm surprised I got a deathless through four so early. So I'm a bit out of shape. I haven't been playing offline much. Been focused on other things. I need to work on schoolwork some more. I'm working a bit too hard towards the challenges. I know there's gonna be a like, few weeks coming up where I might not be able to stream as much, like at all. Just in general. Because I won't be home. I still don't know if I'm taking my PC, my entire PC with me when I go to where I'm going for three weeks. I might be able to. Depends on how the internet is. But it's going to be a lot to pack if I have to bring all my GBA games. 
I, I also don't want to lose three weeks of progress, though. Three weeks of potential progress on the journey. Because obviously this is taking me a long time, so... I gotta use this, my time valuably. Time... I don't, what, what am I trying to say? I gotta make my time valuable, or value my time some more. Give more time to the journey. To make sure I'm staying on top of things. That didn't... That was stupid of me. <sighs> Using my time wisely, that's what I'm trying to say. When it comes to this challenge. Like, I don't want to rush it too much, but, like, at the same time, I don't want it to take me ten years, so. I stay consistent with it. It shouldn't take me that long. So having three weeks off would be a bit detrimental to the progress or the pace of the challenge. I think right now my pace is actually a little too fast. I'm trying to rush to the, get to the next games. I think maybe that's just because the queue has gotten pretty long now. I want people to be able to see their games while they're still interested. <laughs> kind of. I might want to start limiting how many games can be redeemed at once. Again. Like put, maybe like do like a community vote or something. That would get rid of the leaderboard though. I kind of like the leaderboard concept. I think it's a bit interactive. Well, I don't know how much people actually care. Probably not that much. Not that much. That was close. If I had gone down there, I think I would have died. <sighs> Stay focused. Awkward. This should be fine, though. As long as Orange doesn't do that, which he did, that was really close. <laughs> that's that's not a, a way you usually clear that in my book. when pink does that starts camping red's corner i didn't get to eat that one i'm going to go ahead and do that yeah we're, that's free okay uh, it's not entirely free. It was orange decided to go up the one line of dots actually needed. Pretty scary time. That's what that should look like. Okay. Good shape. Good deal. Dang it, that scared the frick out of me, dude. Uh, 
Oh, what just happened? God, my D-pad is being dumb right now. Yeah, we're good. Had to play it safe there, because that could have... That cooldown could have ended right there, and Red would have come up and killed me. Okay. No stress six. Or it should be anyway. Dang it! Freaking... Why? I wanted to go into the tunnel. I was just dumb. It's fine. I've done all these levels without dying before, so... And this is one of the easiest ones to not die on. At this point. Okay. That kind of sucks that I died there, though. Cornering. Hang on, I wanted to eat him. Dude, that one line of dots down here, so scary. Dang it. I should have kept going. That sucks. And like I said, I've done these without dying, but they're still very hard to do without dying. Wolf. I'll make it. Depends on how this level goes. Didn't go well because I was stupid and I didn't do what I should have done. I think I need to turn back on red there to make that work better. Doing something different. Why were you there? Yeah. I hate missing one single freaking dot and having to go back for it. Played really well the first few levels of that. That's what happens when you're just dumb on level 9. And again, I've done the level without dying before. I don't know how, given how much of a struggle I have with it.
Come on, let's just finish this tonight. Freaking pink dude, why are you up here? What are you doing, Orange? What the frick was he doing? where there's an equal amount of luck and skill involved in this game because of the orange and blue ghosts. freaking blue fright mode man they can go up the freaking tunnels and they're not supposed to be able to go up it's so annoying it's like the worst part of this is that they can do that and then the freaking cooldown wears off and they're back to normal and then you just die because they broke the rules well under the influence of fear That's about what that should look like. I don't know why I catch a break, dude. I think I gotta try something different for level 9. Because whatever I did didn't work. I don't know if I just didn't move correctly or what. Usually the level, the strat I use for Apple, I can use all the way through, like, to level 11. So it's interesting it didn't work that time. But sometimes it just doesn't. It's just very strange. It's pink. Four. Interestingly enough. Is that red or pink? It's red. Heck, I didn't want red. 
I'd rather have had eaten pink there. Okay, they're cornered. Thank goodness. I think they did anyway. The retreat mode is so weird. Never really tell. they're doing. I think they went back to retreat. Okay, we're good. It's like the best feeling when they go into retreat mode and you're just so far away from all of them. Okay, Apple Strat. at me. Didn't trust it. Okay. Fine. So freaking stressful, dude. Apple is so hard. Nice, I got them around that way. Alright, there's my death, let's do six. Let's make it count. Okay, this is going to be really scary. Okay, especially since they're going back to the box. Death is through eight. Never done that before. We're on nine now. back on freaking turn back on red if I accident it didn't work it's fine at this point being deathless would just be nice
was really risky. I don't like this. Okay, we're fine. Okay, level 10. Cooldown resets. Okay, I got red out of play for a few seconds. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, blue could have screwed me over there really easily. We should be good though. Converged on me. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I think I didn't want to be down here. No! Oh, this is really bad. I didn't want to die twice here. I'm getting so nervous for no reason. I know how to play this game. I shouldn't be nervous. Got him. Freaking orange, dude. Okay, three lives get through 12 and 13. That's not enough, I don't think. I, I needed to not lose those two lives on 11. Shoot, that's going to be really bad. Okay. Played that well. Both of them, I think. Shoot, dude. Three lives might be enough for 13. This is the last level I have to beat. I did something completely different there. I don't know if it's going to work. Heart's pumping. I think we're good. I, I don't see how I can lose now. <sighs> Deathless 13. It's over. I'm gonna keep playing. Oh, that's that's a cutscene. Dude, that's perfect, perfect ending. I'm gonna keep playing until I die. I, I did it, though. That's it. That's the end of Pac-Man Collection. In my eyes. We've seen, we've seen level 14 now. Oh, my heart, though. <laughs> My heart, though, dude, after I died twice on 11, I was so scared. I did 12 and 13 without dying. Oh, the, the cooldown resets here. 
That's right. Because it's a cutscene. I'm on a roll though, I have to keep going. <laughs> Imagine if I actually made level 20 with this. That'd be kind of funny. If I actually achieved my original goal. I don't think I will though. I'm just gonna run my lives out and then we'll be done. I can't believe I did it, man. And we're on level 15 now, that's crazy. Three keys. Yes, that works. And that's my high score too. Thing. 63,000. Okay. With that, game over. I did it. I didn't make it to level 20, but I, mean, I beat one more level than I wanted to for the new um, the new rules. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. And I'm happy it's over. <laughs> Longest game to date. And now we can start Yu-Gi-Oh! in peace. Let's update that game completed count to 38, man. We're only one game behind again. I'm really glad I decided to do the lowered requirement. I think it makes more sense in my rules. But anyway, thank you for watching Pac-Man. I really appreciated all the support from my chat and any support that's been coming through on YouTube. It was a very, very difficult game. Probably the hardest one yet, for sure. Definitely harder than um, Super Monkey Ball Jr. in a different way. And definitely harder than Snood, I think. After this, I'm actually not as scared of Snood anymore. I might want to actually start attempting that. But yeah, th that was Pac-Man Collection. Thank you for watching all ten episodes of this ridiculously long playthrough. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will catch you all in the next game, Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshef of Destruction. See you guys later.